Hi, I'm Marla Nunn and I'm going to be reading the first couple of pages of my new young adult novel called Sugartown Queens. Before I start, I'll introduce you to my main girls. Here's Amandla. She is the main character and it's a mystery of her family's sort of secrets and lies that get uncovered during the course of the book. And this is her best friend right here a little bit. She's small but mighty. And then we have goodness to me, sir. She's kind of one of the cool kids, but she gets involved in digging up all the things that need to be dug up in order for Amandla to find out where she's from. Okay, here are the first uh, couple of pages of Sugartown Queens, and apologies for birds, planes, strange noises, it's locked down. So we're all going to do the best we can, and apologies for any stumbles on my part. Um, <clears throat> okay, Sugartown Queens. White stars dance across my field of vision. The blindfold is tied too tight, and I want to rip it off. Instead, I sit and try to rub the goosebumps off my arms. It's cold inside our one-room house, the cracks in the corrugated iron walls wide enough to let the air in from outside. It's winter, so we have stopped rags into the spaces that we can reach. I, shove, I shiver and wait patiently for the two surprises that my mother has planned. The thing is, not all surprises are good. Happy 15th birthday, Amandla, my mother, Annalisa, who refuses to be called mother in any of South Africa's 11 official languages, unties a blindfold and hands me a bowl of lumpy porridge decorated with multicolored sprinkles, icing sugar, and whatever canned fruit was in the cupboard. This year's fruit is pears in syrup. It's a step up from last year's ancient mandarins. Loaded porridge is the closest I will ever get to a birthday cake, a blessing. Annalisa is a terrible cook and a worse baker. Thank you. I take the bowl, surprise number one, and our fingers touch. Hers pale, mine brown, both with long fingers, elegant, waiting for jewellery or a piano. In another life, maybe. Our room is too small for a piano and there's no money for jewels. Today is extra special for two reasons. It's your birthday, plus. She takes a deep breath and cups my cheek with a shaky hand. Last night I had a vision. It was wonderful. But we have to do our part to make it come true. The lumpy porridge sticks in my throat and stops me from cursing. Annalisa's visions have taken us into the cane fields to sing to the stars at midnight. They have told us to eat eggs, and only eggs, for four straight days in a row. They have led us into the heart of a storm to wait for the lightning to send us instructions. The instructions never came. My mother is out of her mind. The lightning was eight months ago. Every night since, I have prayed for the spirits to leave Annalisa alone and go whisper directionally to someone else's ears. Tell me what I have to do. I use a fake calm voice to mask the anxious feeling building inside my chest. I have to stay cool and make my next move carefully. But hurry, I've got to get to school. Hands over your eyes, she says. Here comes the second surprise. I cover my eyes and I peek through the space between my fingers as Annalisa walks across the, crack, the cracked linoleum floor in black tailored trousers, a white silk shirt and a cropped leather jacket with silver buckles. This is her best outfit. This morning she will disappear into the city of Durban and come home with bags of the basics. Socks, underwear, soap and a special something for my birthday. Open your eyes now. She pulls a piece of blue material from her wardrobe and holds it up with a flourish. Look, isn't it beautiful? It is a folded bed sheet with two holes cut in the fabric for the arms and another larger hole for the head. The material is stained and held together by stitches that zig and zag in different directions. She drapes the sheet across the foot of my cot as if it's made from raw silk and sewn together by cartoon birds with golden needles. If you wear this, 
Her pale skin glows like there's a fire burning out of control inside of her. All our dreams will come true. Nope. All my nightmares will come true. Which dream exactly are we talking about? Annalisa's dreams can be anything. A brick house with ocean views. A holiday under swaying palms. Cold lobster rolls chilling in a fridge for when the, when the temperature drops. If only we had a fridge instead of a cooler. Wear this dress, she says, and your father will come back to us. Blue was his favourite colour. You see? No, I do not see. And that is the first couple of pages of Sugar Town Queens. I hope you found it enjoyable and thank you very much to West Words for inv inviting me back again to, to read from one of my books. So yes, Sugar Town Queens, a young adult uh, a novel is out now. And um, uh, yes, thank you again for the invite. I really love doing this and just kind of reaching out and showing everyone, getting everyone to sort of interact with my characters. So thank you again and thank you for watching. Bye.